you don't want to be too far out because it's going to be you're going to right. the phasing is going to be too wide. And, is, is For looking over Jordan, we did the music, the audio mix, the sound design, the sound effects, and we did all the audio post production. Uh, there's one right there. Oh, okay. Bless every person that's here, Lord, tonight, those who are working the cameras and working with the microphones and all that we've come to do tonight, Lord. Lake Providence people, they did great. They were really good to work with. And they knew exactly what we were trying to do. Just do it a little bit faster and, and just in structured tempo, if you can kind of keep time just straight through. Okay. And that's the one we want to tag. But, you know, we're not choir directors. I mean, we're, we're, we're composers, and so it's, it's something completely different to try and harness a performance uh, from a group like that. Since the music was used then as, as a means of, of communication, as a means of sorrow, as a means of happiness, as a means of just getting by in life. We actually got performances that pretty much touched on all those. We wanted to make sure that it was going to portray it accurately and something that was more authentic sounding from voices, from a choir, you know, from instrumentation. You know, when people are performers by nature, they are looking to their audience and performing what feels natural to them, which is great. That's what you want a performer to do. But, you know, in this instance, we knew specifically that we wanted something more period sounding, while at the same time, more natural to them. So we had to find that balance. Pretty amazing during uh, the time when they were singing uh, How Firm a Foundation, which right. is on paper probably one of the most simple melodies you could ever imagine. Not many notes, the same thing over and over again, but stylistically it seemed to have been a real challenge because it was mm -hmm. so different than what we're used to hearing today that their ear just sort of naturally wanted to go a certain way, and so did ours. And right. sometimes we had to say, okay, let's just real simple here, you know, and do this like this and that, and, and they, they did a great job, but it was just amazing to see that, that a simple song could really be the most challenging one right. out of all of them. Right. We threw them for, for a loop a couple of times. They had a lot of fun. They yeah. had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah. And we did too. So. When there's a story being told, you have to be sensitive to what the story is and what the emotional component is. The music picks up on what that emotion is and then it tries to draw that out of the viewer. It underscores that and, br and brings out the intensity of that. It really kind of drives that home. It takes the facts and everything that the story is telling and then makes you feel it. <laughs> Can we do that one one more time? I heard a little, a couple of little things pop here and there. When you're a composer, music is all about melody. Everything you hear is melodic in one way or another. E even when somebody's just talking, there's a melody in their voice. Sometimes the way sound bounces around a room is a melody. That's really the key, I think, is, is you know, identifying what the melody is and then having the support for that. You know, you know what this needs? What's that? This needs cowbell. Sound familiar? Yeah. Buck 50 at a flea market. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of great tools we have at our disposal, and we try to utilize that as much as we possibly can. Yeah, you know, always be careful of not not letting the technology take the place of good musical sense. We don't want to just use computers on everything. We want to always incorporate as much live instrumentation as we can that gives it that extra dynamic, organic edge. A lot of the things that we've been doing have entailed having an organic sound as well as some sound design elements. A lot of the tools are, are based on what we need at the time, but um, and a lot of it is, is time manipulation and plugins and so forth. Ugh.
Did you save? Oh, <laughs> forgot to save. We got to start all over. You obsess over things that maybe nobody else would care about, but as the composer, as the one that's creating it, you want it to really just be perfect. A lot of people, they say, well, nobody will know. Well, but we'll know. And I, I think it, ultimately it says something to the quality of the whole piece. And it's not unusual to be working and look over the clock and it's 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> so, happens all the time. We know that we've done a good job when people feel something when they watch. And it's not all about the acting, right. you know? The acting's gotta be compelling as well, we all know, but the, the music really reinforces that. And uh, the more that you reinforce the visuals, the better off it's gonna, it's gonna turn out. Perfect. Fit, it yeah. fit perfectly. <laughs>